Hi, I'm James, the box office artist, and welcome to another tutorial. Woohoo! Now, before you watch this one, I really, really highly recommend that you check out and try to fo follow along to the one I did last week, that tutorial on one point perspective, because now we are going to get a little bit more complicated. We are going to get into two point perspective, and it's going to be so much fun. So, why don't we get the fun started right now? Okay, here we go. Let's get into two-point perspective. Now, uh, again, guys, if you have not, and I'm going to reiterate this, if you have not seen, if you have not seen uh, the first video, one-point perspective, please do watch that first, okay? A lot of the principles that I did in that one, uh, we will go over here. But again, it's better if you uh, watch that video just to fully understand what we are doing here. Uh, because now we are going to delve into two-point perspective. So when does that come into play? Okay, so we know one-point perspective is when we have one horizon line. Again, this is the horizon line. I'll write it here, horizon line. I don't, you can't probably see it because it's one came blue now. And then we have, which is also the eye line, by the way. Uh, the horizon line is also the eye line, so this is where your viewer is in space looking straight. And when he looks to the straight, this is where the sky meets the ground, okay? That is your horizon line. So with that, just for example, we did one point pers that perspective yesterday. Just for example, just say that one point was way, way, way over here, okay? And just say I wanted to draw a box here, okay? So just say I'm going to draw a box. And I'm just going to rough in a little box. I don't know if you can see this. I hope you can. If not, I will darken it and post. Make sure that you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to this point here. Okay, the further you get out now from this point, the further you get out now from this point, your box is going to start looking a little bit wonky. But actually, you know what? Honestly, that's not too bad. <laughs> But just say I was going to draw it over here, the, the lines will start getting wonky. That's when we start getting into something called two-point perspective, where there actually becomes two vanishing points as opposed to one. We will leave this vanishing point here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another point that's roughly around here, if you could see that. Let me just double check. You could see that that's there. Yes, that's there. Okay. So what if? Okay, so let me erase part of this cube here. We'll erase the part of the cube that we just drew here, the front part, okay? So everything is no longer, okay, straight on, okay? All the verticals, all the verticals will remain straight up 90 degrees. All the horizontal lines will stay 90 degrees. But the lines that go back into space, they will all go to these two vanishing points, okay? So, for example, if we kept this line here, now I'm going to go from this edge here, From this point here, I'm going to go all the way back to this other point here like this. And every time you hear the phone ring, okay, that means I'm correct, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to do that again from the bottom, and I'm going to go back here like this, all right? Now, I want to draw this cube here, so I'm going to judge, okay, let me erase this line up here. I'm going to judge exactly how far I should go here, okay, and just say, I want it to be kind of the equal size, so I will just eyeball this. Let's go straight up and down, just save from there. Okay, now, in order to draw the top of this particular cube here, the top of this cube here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from this point here, this edge of this plane, and I'm going to draw a line that goes back to this other vanishing point here. Okay, now I'm going to draw another line that goes from here, that goes back to this vanishing point here. And as you can see now, now we have the top of this particular uh, cube. Well, it's not really a cube. That's more of a box of this particular box. Okay? Now, little things we could do here. Okay? So that's, that's pretty standard. Hopefully you knew that. Some of you don't know this part, particular part here. And again, I could draw another one. Just say I wanted to draw a cube back in space here. Okay, and then this cube will actually be the same si height as this cube because they hit this line, if that makes sense. I'm going to draw another line here like this. 
Okay, so in theory, this line in space, this line is the same height as this line in space. A line all the way here, in theory, to say these were people, the size of people. This person all the way back here is the same size as the person all the way here. Okay? I hope that makes sense. Now, so I'm just saying I want to draw a box that is pretty much the same size as this, but back in space. So I will go back to this line using the same construction lines we have here. Okay, I'll just draw a straight line, 90 degree line, going like that. Okay, I'll go from this point. And get, oh, I keep breaking my lens. There we go. I'll just do one, two. Okay, just got to be careful here. I'm pressing too hard. That's what's going on. I'm going to draw a line from this point to the vanish point. And another one to the vanish point here, like this. Okay. Now, now from here, where this back line hits, okay, this back line hit, hits here. Okay, so I, I, I want to make sure that you guys are still with me here, okay? So, in theory, with this vanishing points, these lines go into the vanishing points, and we know that everything height wise within these two lines here would all be in space the same size, okay? The same thing would hold true for these two lines here. So this, this line, in theory, in space, would be the same size as this line. Okay? I hope that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is that from here, I'm going to draw a line down from here. 90 degree line. And in theory, this line here, in space, is the same as this line here. Okay? I hope that makes sense, guys. I really do. Because I'm not sure if it did or not. <laughs> so I'm just going to eyeball the other edge of this cube here. I'm just going to draw a line here. And I'm going to draw a line that goes all the way back to this vanishing point. Now I got two. I got two cubes here. I got two cubes here that in theory would be the same height. I'm not exactly sure the same width. Let me check, the, let me check it. Okay, let me check it. If they were the same width, I could I should be able to go from this point, go to this point, and it should cross this point. Let's see. Let's see if it does. Oh, these lead breaks. And it does. You see that? So it's just that because this is in perspective, that's why this looks a little thinner than this. And then I could go all the way back here. Okay. And let me just add another lead. Oh, I lost it. So in theory, I go back here, and if I drew a line that went all the way to this vanishing point, here like this, that box would be the same as this box would be the same as this box, okay? Does that make sense? I hope that really does. I hope that makes sense. So that this is the basis of everything we are going to do in today's tutorial, okay? So I hope you understood that, okay? So for two-point perspective, again, we have two vanishing points here, we have your horizon line here, and then all of these lines should go back to these particular two points, okay? Now, we, you know, of course, there are more complicated things uh, to this, but at the simplest form, that's what two-point perspective, oh, two perspective is, where we have those two vanishing points, where, those, where these heights meet in space, okay? So I hope you got that. Again, I explained this more in the first video. So hopefully if you watched the first video, you would have understood that already. Okay, now there is one thing I do want to show you here. Okay, now without measuring, like I could take a ruler. I could take a ruler here and I'm going to go, okay, uh, let's use inches for my American fans here. So this is roughly around two inches. If I wanted to, I could put a line. Okay, that's the middle. That's the middle of the, um, of the cube here. You could do that, but for the most part, you want to, you don't want to keep measuring. Okay, so just say I wanted to split this cube in half. Here's how you would do it. I think I showed you this briefly in the other video. What you do is you go from this corner to this corner, this corner to here, this corner. You draw an X, and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to draw an X like this. And what that does, what that does, in theory, that will get you something we call the optical center, okay? Optical center. Okay, I'm actually gonna zoom in the camera so you could actually hopefully see this a little bit better. Okay, and I, I actually apologize, I just realized that it was a little bit out of focus 
uh, for the first part. So I hope you guys got that, but don't worry. I will go over everything again because today we, I'm actually going to draw a pretty big image here. So again, what we're going to do to get that optical center, we draw one line from one corner to the other, one corner to the other, now we got the center. Now from here, from this center point, I could draw a line that goes all the way back to our vanishing point here. And in theory, I just split this particular cube in half. Now that I know this point, now that I know this point is half, half these lines, I could also go take this point, draw a line back to this vanishing point, and now I also split that side in half, okay? Now I'm gonna erase these lines here. Erase these lines here. Now, just say I wanted to put a cube beside it that's the exact same size. I did this with the windows in the other tutorial, so I'm gonna go from here. What I'm gonna do is, because I know this is the center, I'm gonna go from this point here, and I'm gonna draw a line that goes from here, that crosses the center, all the way up to this line here. Remember this line here that goes back to this vanishing point here? And from here, I'm gonna draw a line that goes straight down. Okay, and from here, I'm gonna draw a line that goes from here straight to the other vanishing point. So in theory, by doing that, I just made another box right beside it that is the exact same size in space to this box here, okay? And again, like we did in the first tutorial, that comes in handy for things like windows. Uh, yeah, make windows equal sizes, even buildings equal sizes. That's how you would do it, okay? So that's, that's all well and good. So why don't we do something with this now? Now we know this, why don't we have a little bit of fun, okay? So let me erase, I lost my big eraser. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, I'll tell you what, why, why don't we see if we could uh, actually use these construction lines to our advantage here. So here are the main things, okay? The main things are, we have our vanishing points here, right to the edge of the screen here. We have our one vanishing point here, one vanishing point here. We have our horizon line. Those are the most important lines. What I'm about to do here is I'm going to draw another city scene, uh, like what we did before, but we are going to, um, I'm going to rough it out actually with blue pencil first, the main things, and then we'll do the uh, details in ink. And I was thinking, I was trying to think of a building that we could do that would be a little, a little bit of fun, a little bit recognizable, but is very simple at the same time. And uh, what I found was, uh, if you guys are comic fans, I found a building. It's called the Four Freedoms Plaza. The Four Freedoms Plaza. And what that is, if you don't know, that is the base of, or one of the bases of the Fantastic Four from Marvel Comics. So I thought to myself, why do we draw that? Mainly for a couple reasons. Um, I, and honestly, the main reason is because it's, uh, it's a lot easier. It is a lot easier than other buildings to draw. So, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to draw the Four Freedoms Plaza pretty... Pretty big in the center here, and then we will draw some surrounding buildings using this two-point perspective method, okay? So now, very first thing we're going to do, okay, and see, I'm going to try to get rid of some of these lines here. Sorry, guys, I couldn't find my original eraser. Okay. So let me just uh, take a quick sip of coffee here. Try it. Yum. Okay, so uh, this is what we'll do. First, I'm going to rough in the size of these things. And I'm going to start with the verticals. Okay, I'm going to start with the verticals. Okay, so here, here we go. So we're gonna do the Four Freedoms Plaza in perspective here. So again, the very first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay out uh, where these buildings are gonna be. So I'm gonna start off with the bigger, okay, let me get, make sure we, you can see this. I'm gonna put some, make sure we get the proper lighting here. I'm gonna do the bigger structures first, okay? So the bigger, and then we'll get into the details of the buildings here. So I'm gonna start off, let's say the, uh, the actual Four Freedoms Plaza would be something like this. And again, guys, I'm just estimating the actual size here. And I will tell you guys why, mainly because um, 
You know, because like if if you guys had a T square, if you guys know what a T square is, it's something that you would have at the edge of your desk that would make sure that your ruler at the bottom was 90 degrees, and then you would have like a triangle or something to make sure that you had perfect verticals. But I'm estimating that my verticals are pretty much correct here. Okay, so we will do that. All right. So now I'm going to go in here. And actually looking at it, because of you know where my vanishing points are here, guys, because of how close they are together, I might be drawing this building a little bit too big. A little bit too big. So I might actually bring this in a tiny bit, okay? Maybe it'll look better too for what we're trying to do here. Well, let, let's see. Let, let, let's try it this big. Let's see. So if we did that, and we did that, let me see if I like it. Because I'm thinking of where the four would be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, guys, I'm just going to try to find the center of this. I'll, I'll let you guys know why in a minute here. But again, we're just trying to rough out the shapes here. I, I want to see the four, the way the center is here. And then I got the center. Okay, the center would go like this. I'll tell you why I'm looking for this particular center point in a minute here. Okay, so the center here, optical center is here. Optical center is roughly around there. Or maybe a little bit lower but again just an estimation guys just an estimation I'll tell you why okay okay that will work that will work okay so this will be our first building here this will be our first building and then we're gonna add some more buildings so maybe since I already have a square here maybe I'll make a build this turn this into a building gotta go down a little vertical line here like this And then I'm gonna put this back here like this. So we will see the top of this. Remember, if you're anything below this horizon line, anything below this horizon line, you're gonna see the top of it. Anything above this horizon line, if you had a cube like that was above here, you would see the bottom of it, okay? So anything above this horizon line, you wouldn't see the top of this cube. So I wouldn't see the top of this building because it's above the horizon line. Makes sense because again, the horizon line, that's where your eyes are. So I'm going to quickly draw in uh, the structure. I'm going to even make this building a little bit thicker here. Oops. I'm going to run out of uh, blue lead because it's... Uh... Okay, so I'm just erasing certain parts here. And again, I'm going to do the major shapes in ink here, okay? So just say I'm going to add another building that's uh, a little bit further back here. Now keep in mind here guys, keep in mind, you see this? I'm going to draw a line that goes all the way up here like this. And a line that goes all the way here like this. And the reason is because now I know any buildings I draw here, if they hit this line, that means in theory they are as tall as the Four Freedoms Plaza here. So I don't want that, okay? I, don't, I want this to kind of stand out, this particular building here. Okay, and while I'm here, actually, I, guys, I might actually draw a border. And the reason is because I'm, I want to keep the border inside the vanishing point. So, and to make the drawing a little bit faster, just a tiny bit. But at the same time, I want to make sure that all of the, uh, the city is in the pic picture here. So, I will draw a very quick border here. Okay. And then one more border here, like this. Okay, so let me just make sure we are still good with the camera. Okay, and that's a pretty good size with the camera. I'm just going to shift the camera over a tiny bit so you guys can actually see what I'm doing here. Okay, so now I'm just going to rough in some particular buildings here. So let's just say Okay, so we have this building. Just say I wanted a building on the other side that is exactly the same height as this. We would do the same, right? So I would draw a line here. 
it'll go like that and line that will go back in space like this which we actually did before when we were doing these initial cubes and then I'm going to draw I'll, I'll probably I'll bring it back a little bit I'll keep snapping I gotta be careful with this boulette or we'll go through like tons of these guys oh, see it snapped again you know why what's happening here guys because you see this part like this lead holder isn't made for this so uh, when I'm getting to the part here it's too small that's why I have to make the lid a little bit bigger and then it breaks because I press hard so we'll try to avoid that okay so here is another building here and then I'm gonna just eyeball some buildings behind it so I'm gonna draw another building like this but remember all the tops should be going to the same place all the tops should be going to the same place the building like this so I got a building there Okay, and then maybe we'll draw another building that's more... You know what, for fun, I might do like a building that's like in the foreground here. So the building that actually goes off the paper. Off the paper, so we actually won't see the other side. We will just see the face. So just for fun. So I'm going to go and draw the top of this building here like this. Okay, so that's a building more in the foreground. I'm going to draw another building here in the foreground, but it's lower than the horizon line. So we will see the top. So maybe we'll go something like, like this. Okay. And then let me draw. I'm just going to draw a little box here. You know, like one of those things that you see on top of top of roofs. Okay. So this is going to be a foreground building here. Okay. And then now I'm going to add just a couple more buildings in here. So I'm going to add maybe another building that's maybe like like this I like it's breaking it's not meant for this pencil let me get another blue pencil just in one second here Here's the proper blue pencil, guys. See, this is what it should be, okay? It wasn't meant for that uh, lead holder. That's the only problem with those lead holders. Okay, so. And I'm gonna draw another building over here. Maybe like this, so we can see the side of it. Okay, and again, we're not gonna draw anything below this line, guys, so I'm not too worried about that. And I'm gonna go in that space. Just make sure your verticals are, for the most part, vertical. Maybe I'll make this like a skinnier building like that. Then I'm going to draw one more building here that will go above the horizon line like this. Okay, so this is a really tall building. That's actually bigger than this. Okay. And the one you're here, you could actually, we could actually go and then add. So I'm just going to rough in some other smaller buildings here. And then we will actually put these in proper perspective, but for now, I'm just going to rough it in with the pencil, okay? So this is the start of our actual cityscape here, okay, as you can see. Whoops. Okay, so this is the start of our actual cityscape. Okay, so you can see the forms already. You can see that. You can see how everything is going to go. Okay, so now... Now let's get let's do the very very complicated bit first, and then I would show you how what I would go about to detailing this guy. Okay, so let's start with here. Well, let's start with the actual Four Freedoms uh, building here first. Now, the reason I did this is because uh, for the most part, uh, the at the top is the number four, right? So this is going to get a little complicated. All right, so this is what we're going to be doing. Remember how I said before, the center is the middle point here. So I'm going to draw a line that goes like this and goes all the way down like that so I know where the top is, okay? And again, I want this to look like the number four. So I'm going to go here like this and I'm going to draw a line It goes like this, straight across like that, okay? So I think you see what I'm doing here. Now I'm just going to estimate. Now, I'm going to blow you your mind here, guys, okay? so. 
I'm now going to take this and I'm going to separate it into three, okay? Why don't I do this on a separate piece of paper? I can actually do this on a separate paper, piece of paper so you guys can see this trick here, okay? This is how I would go about separate something into three without measuring it, okay? So just say we have a square here. Okay, just say we have a square there, okay? And maybe I'll zoom in so that you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so just say we have a square. This is how we separate things into three, if you didn't know this, okay? So, I'm gonna take this, and I'm going to find do an X like we did before. I'm gonna do an X like we did before, find the optical center. Find the optical center, that's your optical center. We're gonna draw a line straight up, the 90 degrees, straight up like this. Now, here's the fun bit. What you do is you take from this point here and you are going to draw a line to this point here. So I'm gonna do that right now. Now I'm gonna take this point here and draw a line to the other point down here, okay? What does that do? That gives us two brand new points. One here and one here. Now if we draw to draw a line that goes straight up here straight up here and we erase what's inside in theory now this rectangle this rectangle and this rectangle should all be equal size okay that's how you would get these three to be the exact same size without having to measure that to go here and go in the inches okay this is two inches, so I have to go here, and then that's got to be the same. You know, no, you don't have to do that. This is the equation to do that just by crossing some lines, okay? So with that, okay, you might notice something right now. You might notice what I'm actually doing here because uh, I'll be honest, when I, uh, after I finished showing you that uh, cutting the square into three thing, I forgot to zoom out. So I actually taught a whole lesson about how I made this and uh, <laughs> and you don't see any of it. So I gotta do it again. You should be at this point, but also now because I pressed pretty hard, you can see what I'm actually trying to do here. I'm actually trying to put two fours onto the top here. So I went back because I want you guys to follow along. So let's do it, okay? So let me actually zoom in to the fours here now. So let me show you how let me show you how I actually construct it. So we left off here. Now I was saying the reason I wanted the rule of thirds is because I want to find out where the bottom of this four was. So I'm gonna go in here to this side here and grab my ruler. And I'm gonna do that rule of thirds policy here. So I'm gonna go from this corner here to this corner. I'm gonna go from this corner here to this corner. Okay, now I'm gonna go from this because I wanna see the third here. I'm gonna go this corner to this corner and then this corner to this corner. Now I have two points here, one point here and one point here. I'll go back to our other vanishing point here and draw a line. So you can't see it right now because it's off camera, but I'm going, I'm lining up my ruler to the other vanishing point and that ends up here, okay? Now the reason uh, that this line is lower, well, let me, let me finish this first. So I'm gonna take this one here, I'm gonna draw a line that goes back all the way back here like this. Okay, so I draw a line that goes all the way back here there, like that, okay? So, now we have the middle line, we have this third line, okay? Now, I also wanna draw a line that goes down here like this. Now, I did do a rule of thirds here, and to do the rule of thirds again, I wanna go from this top to this bottom of the square, and then I'll end up with a point here. And I'm gonna draw a line that goes down like this, okay? And then I'm gonna draw one more line that goes straight across like this, okay? Now, that's all well and good. Now, if I want to complete this four, I'll go from this corner here to this corner here, and I'll draw a line that goes like this. So this is the inside of the four. So now I got a four here, right? As you can see, I got a four here from doing that. If you were able to follow along, I'm, I'm glad you did. Okay? Now, here's the only problem with this four. It's too thin. It's way too thin. It is way too thin. So, I'm going to eyeball certain things here. I'm gonna eyeball how thick this line is. So instead of a third, I might do a half instead. Okay, so I'm gonna erase this four completely now. Just because it's in the way. 
Okay, so I'm going to erase the whole thing. Get rid of most of that. Okay, we'll try again, guys. So we'll do it again if you got lost with all of that. Okay, let's do it again if you got lost with all of that. Okay, so again, let's start again with the center line. Starting on the center line here. Go up there like that. We have that. Okay, so we know where the optical center is. We can draw here a line like this. We got to draw a line like this. And we gotta make sure that we have our centers all lined up here. Okay, so we got that one center there. We got this one center here. Now, instead of a third, I think a half. Half of this box would be better for the bottom. Half of this box would be better for the bottom. So I'm gonna cut this box in half. How do I do that? I'm gonna draw a line that goes from here to this corner here. Fine. And where this ends up, this is now half of these two lines. Okay, if that makes sense. Now I'm gonna draw a line from here to here. Okay, and that feels, this thickness feels a lot better to me than what we had before. Okay, I forgot we had this line here that went like that. That feels a lot better to me, okay? I'm gonna actually do the same. Okay, let me just draw, redraw the top of this cube here. I'm actually gonna do the same for this box here. How do I find the half of this box again? I'm gonna draw a line from here to the bottom here. And then that gives me this point here like this. I'm gonna draw a line straight up. Okay, you see the four coming along now. It's starting to come. Now, if I draw from this top of the of this back line here, if I draw a line from there to there, I should be able to get this little triangle that we need to complete the four. Okay, so now we have a four here, guys. Now I'm gonna erase all these inside lines because we don't need them anymore just so we could see this four a little bit better. And I will be inking this, so this four will pop up. So now it's a nice four that is actually in perspective, okay? So now we're gonna draw the four on the other side. And we have a lot of the lines that we already need to construct this four, okay? So what do we need to construct this four on the other side? Well, first of all, you need these two X's here, or this X here, that separates the uh, cube that we did to find the optical center. We need the center line, we need the middle line. And now we have some extra points. We have this point here, which is because it's half. If I take this point, bring it back to the vanishing point here, in theory, now this is separated equally in half, okay? So I hope you're still with me there. I hope you're still with me, okay? Now, another point popped up because I did that, okay? You notice this point here? It crossed over with this line here because this, you know, the cross is here, this is half. Now, if I went like this, this dot here, this is now exactly half of this box here. So if I were to draw a line straight up here, draw a line straight up, okay, this is half of this box here. Okay, now this four is pretty much almost getting into shape here. Now all I gotta do is draw a point from here to here, draw a point from here to here, and now I have myself a perfect four here, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna erase what's inside so we can see. Okay, so right now you can't see, really see what's going on here. But we'll erase what's inside the four here, these construction lines inside the four. Okay, now, great, we have two fours here. Now these are joined, the way this is designed, and they are joined together, so this is what we're going to do. I'm also going to raise this top here, because this doesn't exist. This was just to help us construct the four. This doesn't exist here. Okay, and I'm going to raise this. And I'm going to raise this, because those don't belong there. Okay, because the Four Freedoms Plaza, what's at the top are fours. These giant fours. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna strengthen the top here like this. Now I'm gonna take, go from this corner here, I'm gonna draw a line from this corner here over to the other vanishing point, okay? And I'm not gonna draw the whole thing, I'm just gonna draw a little bit here. But my ruler should be hitting the vanishing point back there, okay? Now, uh, from the other vanishing point, I'm gonna draw a line from this corner here back. So 
I'm gonna draw a little point. For this corner here, back here like this. Okay, and now we have one more point there. Again, I'm gonna do some racing just so we can see what's going on. Now in theory, I should be able to draw a line from this point to this point of the four. I'm gonna do that right now. So right now we are building the top of this, uh, of this building here. It's four there, okay? So I'm just gonna draw a line here like this. I'm just gonna estimate how far back in depth this particular piece here goes. Okay, and with that I can draw a line actually, because this four kind of sticks out from the building. So I'm going to draw a line down like that, a line down there like that, a line that goes down like this, and I might draw even draw a little bit, another line underneath here, just to kind of show that this four is kind of sticking out of the building. I'm going to draw another line underneath here like this. to show it's sticking out of the building. Same, same thing here. Just to show. Because again, guys, everything, everything that's above this horizon line, you should be able to see the bottom, but not the top. That's the same case here. And as you see here, because, you see here this back here? This back that leads into another four. I assume the same thing is happening on the other side of this building here. So I'm gonna draw a line that goes up like that, assuming there's another four there, okay? Now we are off to the races. The hardest part of this entire drawing is done, trying to get these four correct. These four, these fours correct in perspective, okay? That is the hardest part. Now they are fully constructed. Now we could get to actually inking and then detailing, inking and detailing uh, this image. Let's do that right now. Okay, so let's start with this particular building here. Just uh, double check that we were in perspective, uh, or in uh, proper focus, which we are. I got perspective on my brain. That's what's going on here. So, tools of the trade, again, my, uh, I'm going to be using my Sharpie. And a brand new Sharpie, if I can. Something uh, that's uh, not worn out. Okay, and I should have one here. Yes, right there, that's a good one. Okay, so we're gonna use the Sharpie for the edges. And then for the interiors, uh, we're gonna use a thicker micron, okay? Not the thin ones, we're gonna use the thicker ones. And ones that's not uh, run out. Okay, mainly so we could see. So let's start, let's start with the outside. Now, with something like this, uh, I like to start off with the edges, okay? And get those all inked up, okay? Now because we are using a lot of ruler here, we are using a lot of ruler here, you gotta be careful in how you ink things, okay? Be strategic. If you're right-handed, go left to right because you don't want your hand to smudge, okay? Be careful with how you use these rulers because sometimes you might wanna get the verticals done first, give it a second to dry, then do sides, okay? That way you won't be sliding your ruler across on wet ink and then you will get smudging, which we don't want, okay? So let's do that first. We're gonna start with these sides here. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a line here like this. I'm gonna draw a line here that goes like this. Okay, so we're gonna get the edges done first. Let me blow this quickly. All right. And I'm gonna draw a line here that goes like this. And again, even though these lines are constructed, guys, make sure you refer, always refer back to your vanishing points, okay? So that's what I'm doing here. Referring back, lining it up. Blow that. Gonna refer to the other vanishing point here. Like, especially guys, when you're starting out, like you will eventually, hopefully after doing these for years, eventually you probably could go without making these grids and these vanishing points and all this kind of stuff. Like, I'll be honest with you guys, uh, for the most part, I don't really do this a lot this way with the vanishing points. Well, but then again, I haven't done a big cityscape in a long time. So, so maybe for something like this, I would just because it's a little bit easier than trying to wing it. So as we would say, wing it. Okay, now I'm gonna draw another line here like this. And down, okay. So this is our first um, inch here, the four, okay. Remember before I was telling you guys, whenever you could see it, 
whenever you have like a say for example spider with the crawl around here when it goes around the corner you can't see them anymore that's where you put a thicker edge okay that's what I'm doing here same principle applies here so I'm gonna do that here I'm gonna do that here and what that does is guys it helps sticks out these uh, certain parts of your drawing okay especially in a in a technical sense because really this is really technical illustration okay so now from here I'm gonna start roughing out the outlines of all these particular buildings here okay just so I can uh, be done with the sharpie then it's all about detailing okay so now uh, what's a good way to do this like for example I could start here with the uh, right okay and then do all these right lines okay then give that a second to dry as you can tell already a little kind of smudging already here so hopefully that doesn't happen to you and then I would go from this vanishing point and then do all the other lines on the other side after it dries so that's probably what I'm gonna do here let's do that okay so go here one drop one there and then we have one here Go down a little bit more. We have one that's here. And I'm just doing this because, guys, I'm trying to get the, uh, the, just the outline of the buildings done. Outline of the buildings. Not even the interior lines. So these interior lines I'm not going to do yet. I'm just, yeah, I just want the outside ones. Okay, so. I got one there. Okay, so we, again, we're not going to see that part. So I'm going to line that goes like this you know what I'm gonna add another box no no I'm gonna make that building okay so I don't even need to do that one there okay that's about it no now the other side go here and I'm gonna draw a line that goes like that actually I am gonna go here I'm gonna draw this line here like this All right, now I gotta draw this line here that goes like this. You know a little trick you could do, guys? You know, a little trick that you could do, and I'm actually gonna back up a little bit, and back up a little bit so you guys can see the vanishing points. Okay, a little trick you could do to make this a little bit easier, a little bit easier. If you guys have like a thumbtack, if you have a thumbtack, just be careful like you don't, you have like a brother or sister or, or kid running around here. Have the thumbtack actually stick out from your vanishing points and then it's so easy you don't have to look back you just kind of clink it here to your uh, to your uh, what's it called pin okay then it, then it's a little bit easier that way okay so that's a free tip for you guys give that a try just uh, watch where you step later just remember it's there okay you might hurt yourself okay so I'm gonna draw another line that looks like this and a line that goes like that okay so those are all the tops now let's do the sides here again these are all verticals again I'm working uh, left to right because I'm right-handed if you're left-handed I would go right to left okay just so you won't smudge okay even though you could already tell I'm already smudging a bit paper is getting a little dark okay and again I'm only roughing out where it will be now you might ask what is this that is the ledge of the building, okay? So I'm already adding a little bit of detail to that building, even though I didn't have to. Okay, I missed that one there, so I just went back. Just be got to be very careful with how you do this, okay? Then we got one there like that. Then we have this line here. Actually, I made a mistake here, but I'll turn that into building detail. Line here like this. And then a line here that goes like that. Okay. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to draw the borders here. I'm just draw the borders so that they are clear. I'll also draw where the vanishing points are so you guys can see it a little bit better now.
and got to draw down here as well. Draw the borders just so I know not to go further than needed. Okay, so now, now we have the beginnings of a city. Okay, and in all honesty, the simplest of cities, uh, what we got going here. So now I'm going to go and get a thicker micron, and we're going to actually start detailing this guy up. Okay, so let's start by completing this spore here, just because it's the funnest, okay? <laughs> so I'm actually going to go here and draw these lines here. Again, going referring back to referring back to the vanishing points here. Okay, that's very important. You should always refer back to the vanishing point, especially when you're starting off, guys. Especially when you're starting off. Now, when you guys have this down, when you have this section nature, second na second nature to you, then you don't have to worry too much about it because you'll automatically know when things look wrong, and that. I believe that's the point I'm at right now. But, uh, but yeah, of course, everything will look better, of course, if you had the grid laid out and would be faster. So I guess it's all subjective at the end of the day. Okay, so I'm gonna draw the line like this. Then I'm gonna go here, and draw a line up like this. You know what, this is a three. Sorry, I thought it was a point eight or an 8. I had ended up using a 3 instead. Okay, so I'm just doing a line here like that. Center line. I'm going to go back here and, okay, actually let me do these lines first. One here like that, one here like that, one here like this, one here like this. And now, let's finish this off. I'm going to go ahead, draw a line here like that, and draw these two lines here like this, one, two, and then a line here. Oh, we've got the bottom of this. Let's get that going as well. I'll just try to adjust my light here, guys, so hopefully the shadow won't get to you here. Okay, so that, so yeah, that is it. That's how we do it. Okay, now, I'm going to draw a line that goes all the way down the center here. And again, guys, you, you don't have to be using a pen at this point. Please, if you're using a pencil, fantastic. But pencil would be better, in all honesty, because uh, less, <laughs> you know, you could uh, fix mistakes, right? You could fix mistakes pretty easy. Now, as you can see here, if you can see closely the blue here, I can actually use this blue line to my advantage here. So I'm going to rough out some windows in here. And these will be like standard comic book style windows. I'll show you guys what I mean in a second here. So I'm going to draw a line that goes like this to this construction line. If you don't have this construction line, just draw it. Okay. And I'm going to draw another line going down like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this, the top of this corner here and I'm going to draw a line that went back, goes back into space. Probably roughly, I'm going to estimate that this size is as the same size as that. And then I'm going to draw a line that goes down like this. Again, hitting this point here where this line is. And going down again like this. Okay? And now, I'm going to draw a line at the bottom here. And one more at the bottom here. Fantastic, okay? <laughs> Fantastic. That's a pun. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? So this line continues again. This is the dot. This is where that point is. That's where we're gonna get the bottom of this square. Same thing here, the point. This is where we're gonna get the top of this square. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna actually draw what I believe would be kind of the same in space. Kind of. Like that. And like this. Okay? Now I'm going to draw a line 
that will go pretty much down like this to where I think that would be equal to this. Okay. Same, same thing over here. Okay. And again, it's just an estimation guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. but enough so it looks right. That's, I think that's the most important thing at this point. That's what we're trying to do. Have everything look right. Okay. Okay, so now, what we're gonna do now is make some very, very, very grid style, grid style windows here. You know, uh, these are the type of windows you'll see like on mirrored uh, buildings. If you know what I mean by mirrored buildings, they, um, they uh like the whole thing looks like like one giant window with some carvings in it so we're gonna we're gonna do that here so i'm actually drawing the ledge to this to make it feel like this is inset now i drew a line here like this now i'm looking at it maybe oh yeah yeah you would see it you would see it because it's above the horizon line so i almost messed up myself there so i did do the right thing and i thought i didn't <laughs> And then I will draw a line that goes like this. I will actually draw a line that will go like this down here too. Okay. So that kind of inset these particular windows here. Okay. Now we're just going to draw some standard square style windows in here. Okay. Now again, it's like if you were, if you were uh, drawing, um, yeah, like a mirror style building here. So let, let's just do that quickly here. So let's start with this side here. And again, this is one of those things, guys, if you want it to be accurate, you could do the X here, split it, draw another X, split it, draw another X, split it. You could do that, and if you wanted to like, go really, really, really accurate on this. Uh, for this point, at this point here, guys, let's just, uh, let's just eyeball it. I think we should just eyeball something like this. Okay? Now, here's an important thing, though. Here is an important thing. Uh, what we want to do, though, because if you think about floors, if you think about floors, floors are never irregular. There's always like one floor, one floor, one floor. So those are always straight. So you want to feel that. So this this floor should feel like it's matching up to this side as well. So I got to do something here, uh, which would be better to do in a blue line, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to draw a line here like this, and I'm just going to draw a little dot there so I know where that where it would be if I hit that edge. Okay. You know why I did that? For the other side. So if I go from this side here to this side, like this. So this this floor, this floor, it feels like it belongs on the same floor, okay? So I'm gonna do all of this side here first, and then I'm gonna draw all of the other sides. So I'm gonna go here like this, and I'm just gonna go by eye here, guys. I'm just gonna do the eye test, and then try to feel, draw these floors. Again, always going back to Always going back to my perspective, my vanishing point there. And even that guy, that's that's pretty much an estimation there. And for the most part guys, the times I don't uh, bother with uh, doing the vanishing point method, Okay, because it's valuable. Is it's when you draw something that's so big, that's so big, that the vanishing points are off the page. They're off the page. Then it's a matter of are your lines all converging or not. You have to make that estimation. So to see an example of that, if you guys were to check out my Daredevil piece that I did uh, a few days ago, as of this recording. I did that a lot when I drew the background there, so I think that was the last piece I did a substantial background to. So if you want to check that out, you could do that. Okay. So I did that on that side, now I'm going to do the same thing on this side, but using those marks I made in the middle. And okay guys, you don't have to do these marks in the middle, just know, understand where this line hits this line here. Like some of these lines already look off, but that's okay. That's okay for our purposes here. Okay? 
So I'm going to also draw the lines down here on the bottom part. Sure, we are still recording here. Okay, great. Great. So I'm just going to draw the lines here on the bottom part here. And I'm just going to do this pretty quickly, guys. I'm going to do this pretty fast. So again, guys, this is very, very basic two-point perspective. All right? Though you will use this a lot. You will use this a lot. And, it, it, and it's valuable in so many ways, for sure. See, the way I drew this building here, guys, we might uh, be dwelling into three-point perspective, which we will cover next week. Okay. But for now, we'll just finish this off. So I'm going to keep drawing. So as you can tell now, I'm, I'm not really getting that accurate, guys. Here with this, I'm just going by feel just to get this done a little tad bit faster. Okay, so now, guys, okay, so we got the floors done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw some verticals here. So you could get creative like this, like you could go in and draw squares like this, or you could vary them. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a little bit of both here. So I'm gonna do some variations. So the important thing guys, is, guys, if you are going to vary it, the important thing is the consistency. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean by that. And this is very risky doing this ink first. Because if you mess up, you mess up. Yeah, because <laughs> you can't erase lines. Now, I'm going to make a little bit of a variation here. Okay, so I'm going to widen this line out just a tiny bit that and then maybe one more like that to say this building was were to have bigger windows again it's uh, consistency okay so we want we did three so we one two three and then we had two big ones here, right? So we had one, two, and then we'll add some extras here. Okay. So that, for the most part, that is the first building. Now you could go here and you could go ahead and add details to this building if you want to. I'll go and add like little bits here and there. Depends on your mood, depends on how much time you have to fix up certain things. Just gonna add a few more extra lines here just to kind of detail this up a tiny bit. Maybe there's a, an extra line underneath here. Again, at this point, guys, it's just dressing. Gonna go here like this. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that's it there. I'll add another line that goes like that. Maybe I'll add another line that will go underneath here like this, and a line that goes underneath here like this. Maybe I will go and add another line that will go here like this. So, so at this point, guys, I'm just, I'm just adding little details. You could add as much or as little as you want. That's up to you, and that's where the fun part comes in for me. And even how you render it, that's really up to you. Even how you would go about rendering this building, adding shadow to it, adding all those type of things. That's up to you how de detail and in depth you want to get when you're drawing a building like this. Okay, so let's now let's now uh, rough out the the extra details for the other ones. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and just complete what we didn't have before here. So I'm just gonna finish the top of this. 
Oh, and again, see guys, I'm not using my perspective lens, which I should be. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a line here that goes like this, a line that goes like this, and down here. I'm gonna draw a line that goes like this. I'm gonna draw a line that goes like this. A line that goes like this. A line that goes like this. Okay. Okay, and then again at this point guys, it's all about exactly how much detail you want to put in these buildings. Now there are those guys who like to draw every single window. There are those guys who do not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let me show you uh, a variation of that. Like for example, I uh, just see this uh, building up here. Let me show you a very, very simple building design that a lot of comic book artists use. And in essence, it's kind of like this. But what I'll do is I will draw a line like that. And then I will draw a line that goes down, maybe not all the way, maybe like down to here. Another one. Then I'm going to go from this vanishing point here. Bottom, maybe add some variation lines here. So one, two, three, another one, four. And then I would go and complete this line here. And another detail line ledge type thing. And now they would draw windows like this. Well, actually, let me just add one more line here. Maybe something like this. And then they would add these really, really, really long windows here. Like that. And I'm just adding some detail just to just to make sure that people understand that's the corner. Okay, this is very similar to one of the buildings I did with the two-point perspective. This is a very, very, very minimal minimalist building here. And if you want to add some cross sections to this, you can. So sometimes I'll just add just just to vary it up a bit, but not a lot. Okay, not a lot. So here's another one, and then that's it. I would leave this particular building like that. Okay, so that's one type of building there on that side. Maybe for this type of building, we want to get a little bit more detail because it's a little bit more. Uh, actually, we'll do that with this particular one because this is more in the foreground. More in the foreground. Let's say we want to get a little bit more detail with this one. So, I'm going to make sort of a ledge here. So, I'll draw a line down like this. And then draw another line here like this. And then just say maybe I even for this one. Okay, so I'll just draw an extra detail here on the bottom. Okay, before I get to the windows. Let me just draw a little bit of detail on the roof here. So we'll go back into space like this. As you can tell, guys, I'm always referring back to back to these uh, vanishing points here. Okay. Okay. Now, say to myself, maybe I want to draw some individual windows here. So first of all, I'm just going to give it a little bit of space by drawing here like this. Now. This is where, when I'm doing individual windows and I'm working in a direct perspective, this is the time I will, it's very rare I'll do this, I will go back to the blue pencil just so I could break down how exactly how big these windows are. Okay. So maybe three sets of windows because it's in the front here. Three sets. Okay. And then you decide how big you want these windows. Let's make them individual windows.
Let's make them individual windows here, okay? Oops, somebody's outside. And one more window here. Like that. Okay? So let's actually go and draw these windows here. So this is a case I probably wouldn't, well, you could. I was going to say I wouldn't go back to the vanishing point. I'll just call the blue, but since we're here, why don't we just do it right? Go one, two, three, four windows. Down here like this. One, two, three, four windows. Now I might be inclined to add a bottom to these windows like this. Okay, add another one here. Top, go one, two, three, four windows. Again, at the bottom here. One, two, three, four windows. And then draw the bottom again. And then this one here, we're not going to see the bottom of these windows, but we will see the top. Two, three. Okay, now we're going to go back here and let's complete these windows here. That now, if you are inclined, you could go in here, add a little bit more. Again, guys, it's all up to you how much, how detailed you want to get with these things. Like you could go forever, really drawing a cityscape. So I'm just going ahead and finishing off these windows here, drawing these lines here like this. Okay, so just like regular windows here, and if you want to get really crazy, I could go here and draw like a center line here, like a window sill. Like you know how the wind windows break up, two like that. You could add something like that if you want. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing here, guys. I apologize for that. Let me just actually move down here a little bit. So hopefully you were able to understand what I did there. You must have saw the corner at least. So three. Okay. So now I could go and I could honestly detail these windows any these guys any way I want. Again, I could go over here and just get, keep the simple, the simple theme going here. I could, for example, like this, and then I could just do like these simple, maybe I'll have like one line in the middle here, one line in the middle here, though I don't know exactly how far this would seem back, and then you go here and Draw lines that go like this. And then do that on the other side. Going to the other vanishing point. Okay, so you can have a simple building like that. Very easy. Very easy to do that, so for sure. Okay, so many ways you could do buildings here, guys. Single building way. Maybe we'll try something a little bit better. But, uh, you know, this video is getting really long already, so I don't want to keep you... Google any major city and you'll find some fa fabulous, fabulous reference, for sure. And then try to copy what kind of buildings you see there. Now things that are rounded, you might have trouble with, because we'll, we will get into that uh, one of these days. But for the most part, uh, two-point perspective is mostly where we are drawing our cityscapes from. It's very When you, we get into three-point perspective, that is 
Like I'm trying to think of times where I would actually plot down the three points in, um, in a comic book setting. And I don't do that often. I'm trying to even think if I've ever did it at all. Or if I did, it was more because of the eyes. You know, I just faked it, right? I never actually laid down the point. But I will teach you the principle to three-point perspective next week. Okay, as you see here, guys, I'm just drawing lines here. And again, oh, my daughter's calling. Just to uh, give you guys some variation of these buildings here, okay? Okay, let me just add it. Oh, what the hey? Just add a few more lines to this, like that, like that, like that. Do this again, like that, like that, like that. Okay, so that's another building there. Let me just uh, let's just finish off these other buildings here, guys. We'll just make it very simple. Maybe this guy has a larger roof here, and because it's easier. <laughs> Maybe we could get a tiny bit crazy here. Maybe I could do something like this. Just because it's a smaller space, and I could uh, get away with it. Hopefully you can see this. Let me see, make sure you can see this part here. But you can. But as you can tell, guys, as I'm doing all these buildings, everything here is referring back to the, those two vanishing points. Okay, and then this is very, very detailed win windowing. Very, very detailed windowing. Again, it's, it's your patience with this, guys. Like, some people hate doing this particular part because it can get very tedious. I personally love doing this type of stuff here. It's a lot of fun for me. Like, I will even go and may double up these lines and add shadow and all that kind of stuff. But it all depends on you and how you feel. Those lines look a little off, actually, but... Make it work. Okay, and then maybe I'll... One here and add a, just the tiniest, tiniest bit of detail more into here. Right, so you guys get the idea here. You, I'm pretty sure you get the idea. Just finishing off the buildings we have here because we drew them. Okay, so maybe I'll just again, I'll just do very, very simple. Simple buildings here so that I don't have to draw that many windows. And you have to keep in mind, guys, the further you get back in space like this, the further you get back in space, the smaller as your windows are going to get. Right? Makes sense. Just add a little bit of detail here. Like that. Like that. Just so people know what's going on. They know what the deal is. Okay. And again, just to finish this off, guys, I'm going to go here to this side here. And I'm just going to do a simple building, kind of like what I did here. the ones with the lines go straight down again because it's further away I could get away with smaller windows here okay and then I just made that like a little bit of detail like this a little bit of detail like this again guys referring back to my vanishing points and for the most part, guys, that's that's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how I would go about building a city using two-point perspective. Now, sometimes 
You know, you would draw the skyline here, like this. Okay, I'm just doing this quickly. Usually it would take more care, but you know what? We, uh, we went a bit long for this uh, particular tutorial, so I just wanted to show you how I would do. Okay, so very, very quick. I won't say quick, but a very simple uh, city scene, this time using two-point perspective, and there you go. And there you have it, that is my two-point perspective tutorial and I hope you all learned something and I hope you were able to follow along and uh, if I went too fast, hopefully you paused and I <laughs> kept going. Now, uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know the deal with uh, my particular tutorials. Now, I wish I had time to like uh, make it a little bit more concise and sit down and then maybe even condense it down, right? maybe do voiceovers and all that stuff. I'll just be honest with you guys, I just don't have the time. The way I'm doing these tutorials is number one, I'm doing it as if I'm teaching you guys a class, like I do with my regular classes, and it's important for me that it happens in real time that in real time so that you guys can follow along as well and that's just how the style of my particular videos are gonna go okay so uh, just, just to uh, warn you guys that's pretty much how it is you know some of you guys like it some of you don't but uh, you know I'm just giving my knowledge to you the best way I like to and uh, this is how I like to and a lot of you have responded a lot of you have liked the format of uh, the, these tutorials so I'm really appreciative of that and uh, a lot of you have been tagging me with your work please keep doing that I love to see them and I apologize for all of you who have been messaging me your artwork and I'll, I'll be totally honest with all of you because a lot of you a lot of you are starting to message me on my own work, my your artwork, which I think is fantastic, and I do want to get through all of them. Please, please know that, okay? If I haven't responded to you yet, I I want to. It's just I got so much to the point where I might have to do something about this, okay? So I'll let you guys know that right now. Uh, I will have to make a plan for people I'm actually going to give critiques to because. Uh, you know, it's not just you, like you, with you guys, I'd like to help all of you out, but I also have a hundred students that also rely on me with their work, and I have to prioritize their work first before I can, you know, help you guys individually if I can. So I got to figure out a way to do that concisely uh, to help out as many people as I can. So just please bear with me as I feel this out within the next two weeks, okay? But I, I am so thankful that you are, guys are following along, that you are learning from uh, my channel. I really, really do appreciate that. So I thank you guys so much. Please continue to follow me on all social media. Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, at Box Office Artists. Please watch me draw live on Facebook Live, facebook.com slash theboxofficeartist, where I, I pretty much stream almost every night, depending, but at least three, four times a week, you'll find me live streaming there. And please don't, again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please share this video if you think it can help anyone. Please comment below, let me know what you think. And thank you all for watching. My name is James. I'm the box office artist. I'm here to say keep drawing. And I'll see all of you tomorrow.